I know it's been difficult for you lately. That you feel different from other kids. Touch the floor, Brian. <laughs> Help him up. What are you doing? This is probably one of the most unique horror films I've ever come across. Cool. I mean, the nice. thought of scary and superheroes just never crossed my mind. What was it about this project that drew you both to it? Well, I love superheroes and I love horror movies. So the idea of doing a mashup of both of those things, I think, is yeah. sort of like making the perfect movie. I don't disagree. And I think we probably did. We made the perfect, perfect. film. I've known James for a very long time. I've always wanted to work with him, and the opportunity, you know, hadn't presented itself. And then this script got sent to me, and I, uh, I loved it. Maybe there is something wrong with Brandon. Do either of you have a very first memory of a scary movie that you saw in theater? I remember the first uh, R-rated film I ever saw in the theater, which was Alien. And I was about 11 years old, and my dad brought me, and it was so scary that I could not breathe, and yet it's one of my favorite memories of my entire life. But there's nothing quite as exciting as the communal experience of seeing a movie. You know, we can see films and, and TV on our phones, but it's nothing the same as having a room full of people that are all having the same jump scares. And so I think it has to be seen in a movie theater. One of my all-time favorite horror movies is The Babadook. It's a good one. And it's, like it's a great one. one, and it's very, it, it feels like you are there. But I really wish I had seen it in theaters because I felt like it would have been just that much more, you know, involved, and you would have felt like you really part of, of what's going on, and I think that's necessary for watching Brightburn. Whatever you've done, I know there is good inside you. I wanna do good, Mom. I do.